Um, yes and no. I definitely have some of those traits in me. I mean, I would say when you watch him, uh, Mike Chadwick, yeah, I'm not like, okay, that is not me at all. I, I don't think that um, that is definitely my POV in life and the art of seduction and, and, and sex, but um, I think that me, like most guys, when they watch this movie, it's he's definitely speaking for guys. There's yeah. no doubt about it. But women get it too. They listen and they go, <gasps> that's true. You know what? He's like that. And to be honest, maybe I'm a bit like that. Yeah, well, I mean, I think there's a little bit of Mike in all of us, I think, you know, but I was surprised to find out that this was written by women. I mean, that was the big thing. Three women wrote this. What do they know about men? <laughs> well, obviously a lot. I yeah. mean, that's that really, by the way, I laugh and joke about that, but that is actually a big shocker, and I think it's very telling and pretty poignant when it comes to this movie that three women write a movie that is essentially about understanding the male psyche and how what makes men truly tick and function. Yeah. Um, and they they nailed it. And they nailed it in the most playful, funny, vulgar, yeah. shocking way, which is, you know, they know how to write a movie that with a broad audience because this is really appealing to young, old, women love it because it's romantic, but it's shocking, and guys love it because it's masculine, and it really gets a lot off their chest. <laughs> but it also is tapping a fine line if you're going on a date, like a date movie, because it kind of answers like, you know, if you're just starting off on a date and you're with somebody, you know, questions and maybe things that you don't want to bring out loud. You know what I mean? I, you know what? I think it's the opposite. I think that it brings these, Mike is speaking for guys. It's stuff that guys can't say. You know, like we always, I, we never know as men what the hell do women talk about when they go to the restroom. They go in pairs. Hey, what's up with that? Right, right, never. And we will never find out. Well, what the hell do guys talk about? You know, I know, exactly. what do we think like? <laughs> exactly. We could never really tell women. And, and yet we do at times. It's not that we don't ever think about reading a book or a woman who's wanting to go to the theater with us, yeah. but there's the other part of us too. And that's, that's what's great about this movie, I think, yeah. is that, you know, you go on a date and you go, okay, now she knows. I don't have to say it. <laughs> she knows what's going on. <laughs> now, do you have, like, in your contract now, a, a dance clause? Because we in Rock and Rolla, you kind of, and then now here, I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on here? You notice I got a lot better since Rock <laughs> yeah, and Rolla. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> um, no, I, it used to be, I think, a singing clause. I'd have to sing in every movie. And, and, and all the way along, there's been pretty much a death clause. I pretty much die in every movie. The one thing about moving on to comedy and romantic comedy or even black comedies is that I don't have to die so much anymore, you know? Um, so, yeah, now I guess they've moved on to a dancing clause. Yeah. But, I, uh, um, you know, you're a very funny person. You're very funny on screen. But you're on screen with Cheryl and John. Tell me about those guys. The funniest people I have ever worked with. I mean, they are genius. And their stuff to me is a lot of the funniest shit in the movie. And yet, they improvised probably 80% of that. You know, you'd just be sitting there and be like, there's a bird in my dressing room. Well, what? Now, anybody else tries to do that and often it just doesn't pay off, but they had the whole studio on the floor all the time. And the two are the nicest people ever. You know, easy going and lovely and appreciative, and yet this stuff comes out of their heads. and. It's and it's, it's, it's a challenge though to keep the, to go with the flow and try not to ruin their little genius. Try thing. not to ruin their little thing, but also try uh, to to keep up with them. You know, because when my scene, when I'm talking, I have a couple of scenes with them, and I have to go in and get amongst them and bring them together, and there was a lot of improvising going on there, so that was fun to try and join in with. But you have to you have to be on your game. You know. Yeah. No, I thought you're on your game in this movie. Thank